the state inspector is the boss then? Uh, yes, he is, but he's busy right now. Well, I'm busy too. I'd like to see him. Second, please. Mr. Walters, there's a man outside. He said he's the state inspector, and he wants to come through the bakery. What do I do? He's a state inspector? He said he's an inspector. All right, wait a minute. Let me take a look at the He's a tough one. Look, go out and stall him for a few minutes, and I'll see. Maybe I can come out and get rid of him. In the meantime, we try to clean up the okay. Hey, hey, we got an inspector in here. Oh, dude. Let's get this place straightened out. Get this table cleaned off. Get this thing cleaned up here. I want this place clean out. He'll be in here a few minutes. Right now, he'll be with you in just a moment. Well, just I can't wait. I better go see him. Okay. Hello. Hello, Inspector, Inspector Bates. Yeah, Department I know. of Agriculture Markets. I know who you are, Inspector. You've been I'm, here before. I'm here for inspection today. Today. You know, I was just saying to all my people around here, I was just saying the other day, yeah, when the, when the one that nice food inspector is going to come around and see us again. Yeah. Well, you're up, you? you're up on schedule now. Hey, you know, Inspector, you're looking great. Well, thank you. Lost a little weight. You look younger every time I see you. How you doing? Yeah, you know. Hey, listen, man to man, I want, want to ask you to do me a favor. I got a problem. Yeah. Everything's gone wrong today. My wife is sick. My mother-in-law is coming over today. Listen, could you come back some other time, do you think? No. You're scheduled for inspection today, and we're going to make the inspection. You don't understand. I've got real problems. I've got breakdowns. The bakery didn't come in. All I'm asking you to do is please come back some other time. I really would appreciate it. You know, I can't. I have to make the inspection now. We don't... Uh, I mean, you have to. We have to do it. You've Look, got the problem. I don't have the problem. Yeah, but you don't understand. I'll tell you what. How about just this afternoon? Well, no, got to make the inspection now. You know, you're a little kind of hard-nosed about this thing, aren't you? You come pushing your way in here, you know? I own this bakery. What do you think you are coming pushing in here like that? What would you do if I said I don't want to let you in? What would you do then? Well, don't you want me to make the inspection? That's not the point. How would you feel do if I... Do you want me to make the inspection or As not? As a matter of fact, I don't. Well, then I'll leave. You want me to go? Just I tell me to leave. I didn't say I want you to go. I just don't just want you... Just tell me to leave. All right, maybe you better okay. go. I'm sure you won't change your mind. Boy, talk about a hard nose. I'm sure you won't change no, your mind. No, I, I know what I said. Just get out. Okay. I'm going to contact the legal bureau, and they'll be in touch with you. Legal department? Illegal oh, bureau. Wait. What do you want to grow a legal department for? You don't want to make the inspection? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's not have a big fuss in legal departments and everything else, okay? It's up to you. All right, tell you what you do. You do your thing and then get out, okay? I'll let you do it. Then I'm going to do my thing, but I'm going to take my time and do my thing. I'm not going to hurry up and get out of here. If I make an inspection, it's going to be done and done right. All right, look, do what you have to do. Only do me a favor. If you find anything wrong, I don't think you will. Just leave me a list of the things you found wrong, okay? Well, I'll leave you a list, all right. I'll yeah. leave you a good one. Well, it's kind of traded. Besides that, when I came in, I noticed that you've got people sweeping the floor and sweeping the table with the same broom. Oh. That's against the regulations. That man right there. He was sweeping the table sweeping with the broom. the table with the broom. That's against regulations. And look at the apron. And where's his hat? Hey, Bob. You got a problem? Yeah. I told you to change that apron, didn't I? I did. When did you change it? This Thursday. Well, change it again. All right, all right. Hey, where's your hat? Grab what the man said. I, I, I left it in the it's back. That's the regulations. When you work in a food preparation area, you better wear a head cover. Okay, okay. I forgot. I forgot, all right? Okay. Also, the inspector didn't like what he saw with you sweeping that food preparation table off with a floor broom. Well, you told me to do it. If I told you to jump off the roof, would you jump off the roof? Of course not. Oh, what a brother-in-law this guy's turning out to be. And another thing, when I came in, I smelled smoke and saw a cigar. Oh, we you're here? No smoking in a food preparation area. Oh, we don't smoke anymore. You know, it's hard to keep the guy from taking a puff every now and then, you know. I'm going to start my inspection. Do you want to accompany me? I'm too busy. I really have a lot of things to do. That's why I say, do your thing, and please, well, 
I'm not going to get out in a hurry. It's going to take some time. And when I'm all done, you'll have to sign the report. I'll sign the report, but I just would like you to do your thing and kind of get on your way. All right. Inspector Bates, I'm with the Department of Agriculture and Markets, mm -hmm. and I'm here to make an inspection of the bakery this All morning. Right. Would you inform Mr. Walter that I'm here? Yes, I will. Yep. Mr. Walters is an inspector in the store. He'd like to come through the bakery. Jack Bates, New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets. Oh, I know this guy. He's a tough bird. He gets into everything. I'm going to have to try to get rid of him. Do me a favor. Go out and ask him to wait for a few minutes. Tell him I'll be right out, okay? Okay. Hey, everybody, we got an inspector out here. It's a tough bird. Get this place cleaned up. Get those hands out of here. Get this table swept off here, Bob. We got to get this place straightened out. I'm going to try to get rid of him. But if I can't, we're going to be in trouble. That's it. Sweep that off. Good. Get that thing cleaned out. this thing up? I guess we're not in too bad shape today. Joe, I don't want to keep him waiting too long. Tell him he can come in. Okay, boys. Mr. Walter said you're coming back. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Walter. <coughs> Gee, Inspector, how are you? Nice to see nice you, to see you again. again. I was just saying to my people the other day, I wonder when that nice food inspector is going to come back again. Remember, my name is Jack Bates. Oh, I, I, know, know, I know who you are. I know you, who you are. So, you know, you're looking pretty good. I'd like to make an inspection here this morning. Yeah. Have any objections? Well, you know, uh, it's kind of a bad time for me. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if possibly there's a chance of postponing this to some other time. Well, come a long way and be a burden on the taxpayer, spending all that time and mileage and gasoline and everything. I think that uh, we better make the inspection now. Couldn't make an exception. Uh, the department frowns on making appointments for inspections. It would help me out an awful lot if we could come back this afternoon. Well, I, really realize, spot. I realize that, but I think we better do it now. It'd be in all fairness to you and I both. I was kind of afraid you'd say that. Well, do you mind if I get my equipment out and have no. my equipment up on the table here and get started? Go ahead and do your thing. Here, you can set your stuff right down here. I'll even give you a piece of paper to put oh, your stuff on so you won't get it dirty. Not that we have a dirty table here, I want you to know. Oh, I appreciate that. You got all that stuff for here? Yep. Right. Got a black light. Black light, huh? Yeah. Sieve. Sieve, huh? Flashlight. Flashlight. My slick. Slick, Power huh? slick, yeah. You got, you kind of loaded from there. What do you expect to find here? Well, I don't know. You never know what you're going to find until you get into the inspection. Boy, oh boy. Is there any more in there, huh? No. I did notice while I was waiting out there, uh, I saw some of your people sweeping the floor and then uh, sweeping the bench with the same broom. What, here? Yes, sir. All you're doing is taking microwaves from the floor and putting them on the table. And who was doing that? Who was doing that? Uh, this fellow over here. By the way, he doesn't have a hat on either. Hey, Bob. Come here, Bob. This is Inspector Bates, and uh, he doesn't like what he just saw you doing here. What's your name? Bob. Oh, Bob. But he said that you were sweeping off that table with the floor broom. Well, you told me to do it. I told you to jump off the roof. Would you do oh, that? Oh, come on. No, you know I wouldn't. Bob, what that does is you're transmitting microorganisms from the floor to the table. Maybe you better wash it and sanitize it before you... Okay, you know, nobody over. ever told me that before. Nobody ever told me that before. Uh, all right, listen. Signal training. You heard what he said? Yeah, You I'll wash it, you sanitize it, and when you finish, I don't want to see any of those organisms on there. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. remember that. The thing is, uh, he doesn't have a hat on. 
And, uh, What's the matter with your head? I told you to wear a hat. Hey, I was late this morning, so I just rushed in and I, I just yeah. threw on the apron. And, uh, to help. You're my brother-in-law, too, you know. It's a good thing uh, you're my brother-in-law. You'll have to train him a little better. You know, Bob, uh, hair is a carrier staff, and it can be transmitted to the food. So you should wear a hat at all times in the food preparation area. Well, I appreciate you, you telling me why. Nobody ever told me well, why. You just told me where. You didn't tell me why. Well, now you know why. All right, all right. I'll put one on. Thank just you. Just before you go, you might consider a clean apron. Say, did I tell you to change your apron? I did. When? Last Thursday. Jesus, that's the kind of help you get around here these days. This is a problem. I, go change it again. Right. Hey, I appreciate you telling me why uh, I had to do all these things. I you're, really you're appreciate well. that. Thank hey, you. Hey, Inspector, you didn't even start your inspection, and I'm in trouble well, already. These here. are just some of the things I noticed as I came oh, in. Just as you came uh, in. I noticed you were smoking too. Me? Yeah. Well, I tell you, it's one of those things. Kind of hard. That's to... a bad habit in food preparation area. You're transmitting. Uh, germs from your mouth to the food contact surfaces and food products. It's bad for your health too, they tell me. Uh, it might be. I don't smoke. I, I tell you, tell. you won't catch me smoking in here anymore. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start my inspection if you have no objections. No, I don't have any objections. It's always a pleasure to have you come in. Would you like to accompany me? I certainly would. The only thing is I'm going to be back and forth because i got a lot of things to do here. I'm making up a special frosting for a special order, but I'll, I'll catch up to you as you go along, okay? Okay, and when I get done, I'll review the inspection Oh, absolutely, you. absolutely. I don't think you're gonna find anything wrong there. Well, if I should, I'll discuss them with you at the end. Fine, fine. Now, uh, what can I do for you? Well, you? I'd just like to uh, use your men's room and change my clothes and wash my hands before starting the inspection. Oh, sure. Right down there, help yourself, okay. Inspector. Thank you very much. He's got a nice guy. Making my inspection, and I found uh, several bags of uh, infested flour back there. Come to find out, that's the flour that they've been using in your uh, mix. It's in the mix, and it's in the finished product. We're going to have to put it all under seizure. Wait a minute. You mean the flour in my storeroom? Flour in the storeroom. I just got that in the other day. You want to see my it's, invoice? No, I'm not concerned with your invoice. It's infested, and it's going to have to be thrown out. What do you mean, thrown out? Just, just throw it out? Destroyed. What, because of a few little bugs? Yes, we're going to put a seizure on the finished product. Destroy that tomorrow morning. Wait, well, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean seizure? What do you mean by seizure? Well, what we do, we you mean I can't sell it. Can't sell it. It's got to be destroyed. Put one of these tags on it. You're gonna put a red tag like that on my bread? Well, on the finished product. Listen, I gotta explain something to you about my bread. Do you know what a contract is? Well, I'm not concerned. Well, let me just tell you about a contract. See, I have a contract with the school the hospital and all the sub shops and that's where that bread's got to go that's not my concern that bread can't go anywhere if it's going to go under seizure it's going under contract, seizure i'm going to lose this place well, i got all these people working here it's your problem what do you mean it's my problem it's your problem i'm placing you don't under really seizure think i'm going to destroy take it. that stuff down to the dump you're crazy or something certainly are because i'm going to put a seizure on it right now there's people starving all over the world you're not going to expect me to throw it away and count of a couple little bugs you certainly are I'm going to put the seizure on right now. It's not to be removed. We're going to destroy it tomorrow. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Why do I call my lawyer? Mr. Walter, as you know, the product is now under seizure. It's not to be removed under any circumstances. You understand? Subject of removal is... All right. Subject to penalty. All right. And you made your point. Okay. And by the way, there should be no eating or drinking of food product while working in a food preparation area. I suppose that's against the law too. It's against the regulations. It's against the law to breathe too? No. Just eating the food in the food preparation area. Hey Bob. Yo. Did you hear what the what are you trying to do to me, Bob? Now you're eating and drinking out here. Hey, come on, I've been working since six this morning. I didn't get a lunch break today. Boy, sometimes you know, I, I gotta eat something. I don't know what my sister ever saw in you, Bob. All you do is get me in trouble. Bob, 
job. We've got a big contract to get out. We've got to start making cookies here. Uh, you've got a problem. You have a minute I can discuss it with you? Yeah, what's the matter here? Well, you've got some insects in your flower back here. What, in the uh, bread flour in the yep. storeroom? It's in the bread flour in the storeroom, and I've traced it all the way through, and it comes right back out to your finished product. You know, we just got this in the other day. I can show the invoice. It's fresh flour. It's sitting around, yeah. Well, if you can show me who it came from, we can have another inspector check the warehouse. Oh, yeah, we, uh, that's the way to, because this stuff just came in. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm really surprised to hear well, that. I'm kind of sorry, but we're going to have to place that material under seizure to end the finished product. What do you mean by seizure? I don't think I quite understand. Well, we place it under seizure so that it can't be sold. It can't be used. You mean I can't sell the bread that came no, out of that it has dump? to be destroyed. You mean thrown out? It has to go to the dump. I don't understand. Because there's a few little bugs in there, I am going to have to dump everything out? Well, you run a respectable business, and your integrity is at stake. Would you want to serve that bread to your customers with those bugs in it? You sure there's bugs in there? There's bugs in it, all right. Well, I've never sold a bad product yet, and I have a good reputation, but let me explain the position I'm in. I've got this contract. I've got the school. I've got the hospital, the sub shop. If I break my contract, I'm liable to lose everything. I've got a lot of people work here. Well, it can't be sold. It's got to be placed under seizure. Well, what am I going to do, Inspector? I want to work with you, but what am I going to do? Well, do you think you can get some fresh flour in? Well, there's another distributor about five miles from me. I don't do business with him usually. I can probably get some. Okay, well, why don't you call him, see if it's available. If it's available, ask your people if they'll work overtime, and I'll supervise the cleanup of your bakery, and then you can start production and have that for sale. Want to try that? Yeah, I guess we would have time uh, if we really pushed it. It's not too late now. I get the flour in, I can have that in an hour. Why don't you go ask your employees if they want to work? Oh, they're good people. They'll okay. stay, yeah. And if I can get, but in the meantime, I still got to get that, to this stuff. That's got to, I'm going to place that under right. seizure. You'll know I want to do what's right, right. Inspector. Right. As long as you understand that it and can't you're be gonna, sold. You're going to work with us so that we can get this well, stuff I'm going to place today. that under seizure. I'm going to supervise the cleanup operation and uh, witness the new flour being used. And you can uh, sell that product. All right, I guess that's what I have to do. While I'm here talking with you, uh, I notice you're eating on the job. Not me. Hey, Bob, is that you? Yeah, that's, that's mine. I've been working since 6 this morning. I didn't have a chance to get uh, any lunch. You no, know, that's against the rules and regulation. I, I didn't know I said, honestly. Yeah, well, the problem is when you eat, you're putting your hands to your mouth, and then you're working with finished product, and then you're possibly contaminating it. I see. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that, because nobody ever told me that before. I guess I better go back to the... Yeah, take, boys work area. Yeah, and, yeah and take it out of here, Bob. Thank, thanks for telling me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you don't need around here anymore when you work. Okay. In the meantime, Mr. Walter, I'm going to place what you have uh, finished product under seizure in the bags of flour back there. And why don't you contact your people and see if you can get We're going to get right on it now. We're going to have a crew going in a minute or two. Okay. You just wait and see me move. When I have okay. to move, I move. Okay. Well, right. I'm putting it under seizure. I want you to understand. It okay, can't be I'm, used. I'm getting on the phone right okay. now. Okay. Before, I'm kind of busy, Inspector. Well, I've completed my inspection, and I'd like to go over it with you if you have time. Inspector, it's nothing personal, you understand, but I told you before, I just assume you do your thing and you get out because you make me nervous. Did you well, write everything I, I, down I've, there? I've done my thing, and this is the rest of the observations. Right, I can read. I can read. I can read. You don't have to go over to be with me. I'll be glad to sign. What's well, all these things here? Those are a list of observations, and this is why I'm concerned. Would you like to go over them? Hey, listen, I'm not going to get in trouble to get a fine of my name in the paper or anything uh, with this, are No, there shouldn't be any problem. You, you've received a grade of 85 or above, so... Uh, then I'm not going to get fined. No, there shouldn't be a problem. That's all I want to know. Inspector, it was nice seeing you. Well, here, I'll give you a copy of the report. All right, all right. You can Just have it for your file. <laughs> Inspector, how you making out? Well, I've completed my inspection and I'd like to go over with you if you have time. You found a few things wrong? Yeah, a few, a few observations. Well, I'd like to, like to discuss them with I you. Tell you what, why don't we go in the office? It's nice and quiet and we can relax and we can uh, do our well, thing. Well, who's in charge of sanitation, first of all? I guess I am. I do everything else around here. Well, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go over the list 
with you then in this case and take you to each one and point the observations out where they are deficient. All right, that's probably a pretty good idea. Then, uh, then I guess I'll know just yeah, what you okay. want. Okay. okay. Well, let's start around and. Uh, right, where do we where do we start? Well, we can start in the back over by the uh, filler, basement filler, and we'll start there and. Uh, okay, I'm and with look you, Inspector. Whatever okay. you say. Walter, if you have no further questions, I'll give you a copy of the report. I'd like to leave with you a copy of the Wood Food Manufacturing Practices and a copy of Article 17 to which they relate. Okay. Inspector, I want to thank you very much. Well, when you come back, I can guarantee you these things will be taken care of. I hope so. Good luck to you. Okay. This tape has been produced in cooperation with the Crystal City Bakery, Corning, New York, the Division of Food Inspection Services of the New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets, and the Department of Food Science at Cornell University. Produced at the Educational Television Center of Media Services, Cornell University.